Juggernaug might be the most loved thing in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. Since it's essentially mandatory for survival, players have bought this in every single game that they've played and developed a special attachment to it. Getting a Wonder Weapon on the first mystery box spin in a game may quite literally never be topped. If this happens, players are pretty much set for the whole game. How can you beat an insta-kill double points combo? Very little is better than knifing with an insta-kill active and then getting double the points for the efforts. The Origin Stabs might be the most loved Wonder Weapons in all of zombies. They're fun to build, each one is different and engaging in their own way, and they were the first elemental wonder weapons that players had seen at the time. That was only a glimpse of the rest of this video. We still have to cover loved NPCs, the best DLC ever added, and of course, the ray gun. So let's continue. Probably the most OP wonder weapon in Black Ops 3 Zombies is the Apothecan Servant. It literally creates a vortex and makes it almost impossible to die with this weapon. Three hit downs were introduced in Black Ops 3, and they were a much bigger improvement over the two hit downs from previous games. Double Tap 2.0 makes your guns fire faster, and fire two bullets for the price of one, whereas in the previous version, Double Tap 1.0, it only increased the rate of fire. People love this change, and it's become one of the best perks ever because of it. Leroy was the first friendly NPC in COD Zombies. Previously, we'd seen other NPCs like George Romero and the Pentagon Thief, but they were always harmful in some way. In Buried, players actually need Leroy to open up the map and complete certain tasks, and it's a fun feature that makes Buried stand out. The mystery box is extremely classic. It's appeared in every Call of Duty Zombies map, and even though it might not give players what they want sometimes, the classic jingle will always keep bringing them back. Galvanuckles have always been in the conversation for favorite melee weapon ever since they were released. They're extremely useful for killing the denizens, and for just getting one-shot melee kills before round 14. The Mob of the Dead intro cutscene has always been one of my personal favorites. There's just something about the vibe it gives off, and the atmosphere it portrays is just cool. The Thunder Gun is one of the the OG wonder weapons. The way it blasts zombies away will always be loved by players because it makes for an insane survivability gun. The Soliquifier might be the best thing that could have happened to Die Rise. The gun is so good because it has good ammo, it's fairly easy to build, and it's fun to use. That pretty much checks all the boxes for a loved wonder weapon. Getting a max ammo exactly when you run out of bullets will always be an amazing feeling. Players go from concerned to joyful in like 4 seconds. Getting Juggernaug is the first perk drop on Nuketown always pleases the player. It likely sets them up for a good game because they now know that they won't have to wait for it and potentially get it on round 18. Any day where a new Zombies game or a new map launches is a good day for all Zombies fans. It marks the start of new content and there's always streamers to watch play the game and it's just overall good vibes surrounding the franchise. Another thing that comes with those launch days are the initial easter egg hunts. Players will be seen diving into the new maps and looking for anything they can possibly find with the overall goal of completing the main quest as soon as they can. The Ether story is the foundation of Call of Duty Zombies. When you think of COD Zombies, you probably think of these four people right here. How could you not love them? Zombies has had some insane pack-a-punch camos throughout the years. Origins, Revelations, and Garad Krovi are just a few that came to my mind. It's always a good feeling when your teammate decides to open the first door. It definitely seems like a rare occurrence, but when it does happen, it's a great time. One thing they added in Black Ops 4 Zombies was when the mystery box gets opened on a co-op game, if the player that opened it doesn't want the gun, they can melee it and give it to their teammate. It's just a quality of life feature that everyone loved. Mantling in Zombies was never in a game until Cold War Zombies, and now it will probably be in every game from now on. There's nothing more satisfying than finding a good training spot on a Zombies map. Some of the best that I can think of are Nine, Mob of the Dead, Kino Der Toten, and Der Eisendrack. Alternate ammo types were introduced in Black Ops 3, and they give guns special powers when they're pack-a-punched again. In previous games, guns that were double-packed only received new sights so it was a major upgrade that added much more depth to the game. Speaking of Pack-a-Punch, this machine is loved by so many fans. It's just another icon of the COD Zombies franchise, and it's appeared in most of the Zombies maps because of it. Quick Revive has been a staple in Call of Duty Zombies ever since perks were introduced. But the crazy thing is, in World at War, it didn't actually revive players on solo. So for that reason, Quick Revive is only loved, specifically for solo players, starting from BO1. I just had to make sure I was clear with the constraints. The BO3 HUD might be the best players have ever gotten. It's just so simple, clean, and has the right amount of color. It's just perfect. Gobblegums were another thing from BO3 Zombies, and they were mostly loved because of how overpowered they made players feel, especially when using the ultra-rare Megas like Perkaholic, Shopping Free, and Raindrops. Though, some players didn't like them because they were stuck behind microtransactions. I've heard players say that the Black Ops 3 graphics are the best in Zombies history. For it being released in 2015, the game does look phenomenal. It's just very colorful, and the lighting 
is silky smooth. A mechanic in Black Ops 3 called G-Sliding is something that revolutionized the BO3 zombies movement. Typically in BO3, players don't have unlimited sprint, but they can bypass this mechanic by sliding and then jumping over and over unlimitedly. Whenever players have double points active and they get a nuke drop, it feels so great. Players now get the 800 points rather than the normal 400. Weapon leveling was also introduced in BO3 and it gave something for the super hardcore zombies fans to grind. They could grind camos and put attachments on their gun, and specifically, having the fast mags attachment was extremely useful. The BO2 Galil is one of the best box weapons zombies fans have ever seen. Anytime a player gets this weapon, it instantly makes their game more fun. Speaking of good guns, the MP40 wall buy on Origins is one of the greatest wall guns in zombies history. Not only is it in one of the best locations, but it's extremely useful for taking out the Panzer when it comes on round 8. Jason Blundell is a former co-studio head and game director at Treyarch. He was the main lead for maps like Origins, Mob of the Dead, and Derizendrak, and just someone who the zombies community will always have love for. Anytime there's a good COD Zombies YouTuber who makes the game more entertaining to watch is a good thing for the zombies community. These are some of my favorites on the screen. The years 2015 to 2018 is probably the most loved time period in zombies history. If you played zombies during that time, then you know. It's just the all-time peak. Unlimited Sprint is a quality of life feature that was first added in Black Ops 4. Comparing games with this feature and without is like night and day. What can players say? Sprinting in video games is just nice. BO4 also introduced perk modifiers, meaning that the perk in the last slot would have a special effect if the player had all the other perks at the same time. This was just the start of essentially upgrading perks, like Treyarch eventually brought to Cold War. This was also pretty well accepted. The only problem with the perks might have been that they get a little pricey to upgrade, but still, it's something for the players to grind for, and it adds a lot of replayability. No perk limit was something that players had been asking for for years, and Treyarch finally delivered in Cold War Zombies. If you're listening, Treyarch, thanks again. Something else they added in Cold War was X-Filling. Players were extremely skeptical of this when it was first announced, but now it's one of the favorite additions that Treyarch has ever done. Going back to BO4, Wraith Fires are one of the most loved equipments that's ever been released. It's fairly easy to use, and it kills zombies for a long time, making it the perfect equipment to run in Black Ops 4. Something similar to the Origin Stabs are the Derizendrak Bows. When there's four different types of weapons to build, it just adds so much replayability to the map. The perfect starting weapon to run in Black Ops 4 is the Strife, specifically with the Stiletto Knife attachment. This allows players to knife zombies and get the max amount of points for the first five rounds or so. Fast travels were first introduced on 5, and ever since that, maps that have fast travels are a lot smoother to play than some maps without them. The salvage system in Cold War was yet again something that players were skeptical of when it was first released, but it's now widely loved. The way that you can use salvage as another form of currency to buy armor and equipment is just a lot of fun. This leads nicely into the armor system in Cold War. Having armor makes the zombies hurt much less when a player gets hit, and it's just overall a liked feature in the game. Another thing Cold War did well was being able to put guns and equipment on the ground. This is especially useful in co-op games where the player might want to trade weapons with their teammate. In previous CODs, this was not possible. The Wonderwaff DG2 is one of the more satisfying wonder weapons to use. It shocks all the zombies and does infinite damage, but my favorite thing is the reload animation. The Hell's Retriever is the main attraction on Mob of the Dead. It kills zombies for a long time, and it never runs out of ammo because there isn't any, so it just makes for really solid equipment. Perk jingles are another thing that's an icon for COD zombies. If a player hasn't played zombies in a while and they come back, then they'll probably end up listening for an extra few seconds and feeling some nostalgia. Custom zombies is largely what keeps the community engaged at times when there's no new content or bad content being released. Having the ability for map makers to create anything they can imagine, and have the community play it is something that all Zombies fans love. The 5 intro cutscene is one of the most memeable and iconic cutscenes in Zombies. The memes that come from this cutscene are just too funny. Ted, the bus driver on transit, has always been loved by Zombies fans. Even if he doesn't start driving exactly when players want him to, he's still fun to be around. The afterlife mode on Mob of the Dead was nothing like we'd ever seen before. The most loved thing about it is that players essentially get free Quick Revive replenishes every round, and because of that, they get an extra perk slot to use. Beast Mode does pretty much the same thing as Afterlife, except it doesn't revive the downed player. It's definitely something that takes some getting used to before it becomes super fun, because for me, when I first started playing on Shadows of Evil, I had no clue where to go with the Beast Mode and what to use it on, but once I learned the locations, it was super fun to use. Camping can be fun in Zombies, but specifically camping in Black Ops 4 with Stone Cold Stronghold and Victorious Tortoise is super fun. Stronghold creates a ring around the player when they stand in it
hit, and it gives them armor, and Victorious Tortoise allows the player to not take damage when they have their shield out. Two awesome perks for camping. Another loved perk from BO4 was Dying Wish. When the player has this perk and loses all their health, they don't actually go down. Instead, they go to a mode where they can't be damaged, and after around 5 seconds, they'll come back into the game with their health regenerating. Widow's Wine might be one of the most overpowered perks of all time, just because when the player gets hit, it slows all the zombies around them, and they can replenish the grenades by just getting kills. The Zombie Chronicles DLC was the biggest addition to a zombies game that fans had ever seen. It added 8 of the most loved maps to BO3, and fans still play it to this day. Pegasus Strike is an equipment that's available on Ancient Evil. The player places it down, and it calls an electric horse to rain down lightning on their position. It's OP. Something else OP on Ancient Evil is the shield. The player can throw spears, and they explode and do a lot of damage. Mods allow players to customize their games however they like. They can play with Black Ops 2 guns on Black Ops 3, play gun game, and so much more. The BO2 bank system allows players to deposit their points from one game and take them out in another. The reason it's loved is because it allows players to get set up extremely quickly, but some people dislike it because they say it makes the game too easy, which is understandable. Beginning in Black Ops 4, zombies got updated max ammos. It now meant that players didn't have to reload their gun in order to get full max ammo. Something that began in Cold War was ammo crates. This now meant that players didn't have to exclusively go back to the wall gun to buy ammo, and instead they could just go to any crate around the map. The ray gun is the most iconic wonder weapon in all of Call of Duty Zombies. It was the first wonder weapon ever introduced, and when players get it out of the box, they're always extremely excited. Everyone has their own favorite maps, so it felt weird putting maps on the list. My personal favorites are Dreisendrak, Origins, and Mob of the Dead, but this part's subjective. And number 70 is this video where I talk about the 42 most hated things in Zombies history. Go watch and have a nice day.